I hate inflation. When you look at the facts, it's not just the United States experiencing inflation. It's the whole world. The data means the world's four largest economies have all reported record inflation numbers. So what is inflation? What's causing it? And what can we do about it? At its simplest, inflation is about supply and demand. When things are hard to get, they're more expensive. COVID caused massive supply chain disruptions. And places like China, where a lot of the world's products and materials are made, are still imposing COVID lockdowns. During the depths of the pandemic, the government put a large amount of money into the economy to protect families and businesses and avoid a depression. Both presidents agreed to do this. That was necessary. There's something else that people are forgetting, though. Here in the United States, our job market is booming. Working Americans are getting more jobs, and as a result, they're spending more money. And that also drives up prices. So what do we do now? How do we respond in order to cut prices and make things more affordable? Well, Congress recently passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which is a good start. It caps the amount that seniors will have to pay for insulin at $35 for a month's supply. It will also lower your utility bill by promoting more clean energy. And it reduces the deficit, which leading economists say will also reduce inflation. This is an important step forward on inflation. It's going to invest in the future of our country. If we're going to fight inflation in a way that puts working Americans first, we need more voices in the government who agree. 